Hey there guys, uh, I just wanted to do a quick video on how to um, uh, interact with the Replay PC game. I wanted to show how uh, easy it is. Now this is the first time I'm using this uh, screen record system, so you're going to have to forgive me if things don't work out the first time around. I may have to do it again, but over here on the right there's a main screen option. Uh, new exhibition, new season. I'm going to click on the new season, see what it does for me. And this should be a free version. Um, let's see, options, new exhibition, new season, new exhibition, new postseason, draft, pool, options, main season, main screen. All right, let's try main screen here. Let's go install season. Let's go to 2014. I think it gives me 2014 for free. And let me try to get that. Uh, let's see if it'll do that for me. It may allow me to install 2014 and I'll be able to use about 20, uh, 25% of 2014 before it freezes up. So that's what I remember doing back when I used this. So let's do that. And uh, we're waiting for it to finalize. Now, this is my go-to game, so I can input my information. Let's click on 2014. And see if it'll let me go directly there and start playing it, or it'll require a some sort of uh, code. Uh-huh, okay. So it's gonna allow me to get the season started now Saturday. Here on the top is going to be uh, basically your schedule bar. And it says uh, on Sunday, March 30th was the first game. So I'm going to click on that. It's LA at San Diego. So right above the LA and San Diego information uh, menu or box, you're going to get schedule, team summary, um, auto play the day. So I'm just going to click that. So I played it, and Arizona beat Los Angeles 3-2. The win went to Delgado. The loss went to Jansen. All right, so let me go to next game. Next game is also one game, March 23rd. This is the 2014 season. So we're going to click on that day, and we're going to play the day as well. Now I want to get to a game that um, I'm more interested in. So then I'll go into the game, and I'll show you how to input stats and so on. All right, so let's go to another day. All right, it's going to be Monday. We've got a bunch of games to replay here. And let's start replaying, let's say, um, now I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to options down here because I'm going to see if I can pick a team. I may have to see if I could pick a team, admin options. Oh, team edit. I want to go to team edit, and I'm going to start the season by controlling the Mets. I'm scrolling down to look for the Mets. Let's see if I can find them. Milwaukee, New York National. There it is. And I'm going to control the team. There he goes. So that controls the team. Now I go back up to schedule. So that all it should change things for me. All right. Let's see what happens here. So... Advance uh, auto play the day. Let me click on that. See if it'll do that for me. All right, that did not work. Let's go back. Let's select auto play the day. There it goes. It should stop at Mets if I did it right. I may not have done it right. Aha, I did it right. Okay, it was, it was pretty easy to do. Just edit team. So I went into options and I looked for edit team and I just clicked on manual for New York. So it's going to be, this is opening day for the Mets in 2014. They're opening in New York. It's probably kind of overcast and chilly. And we're going to, we're going to click on play. Okay. So this is how easy it is. So now it's going to give me the potential lineup. It's going to, it's all set up for actual lineups, which is what I love about replay baseball. So I'm going to click on the ball player here on top and it gives me the lineup for the Nats. This is the actual lineup on that day. 
And if I was a little better at this, and I will try to get better at it, and I will split screen. And then I would split screen and show you, I can pull up baseball uh, reference, and I'll show you how that's the actual lineup. Then I'm going to go to the actual lineup up here on the upper left-hand corner. It's the actual lineup for the Mets. And then it pops in there. Young lit, led off. Uh, Ligaris batting second. Wright batting third. Granderson in the fourth cleanup spot. Batting fifth is Andrew Brown. Ike Davis batting sixth. Batting seventh is Travis Darno, Ruben Tejada. And that was about six years ago. Then it's Dylan G batting ninth and pitching. All right, so he's, uh, the Mets are going to be facing Steven Strasburg. And it tells you what Strasburg did in the previous season. He was had a 3-14 ERA with a 14-11 um, one-loss record. Okay, so we're ready to roll here. So we saw both lineups, and we're going to play this out. And I'm going to click on the ball, uh, the baseball on top. And again, it shows me, it gives me some options to, I'm not exactly... Print scorecard. This is a scorecard. So I don't know what that would look like. That would be interesting to do. I could probably print that, print that out and look at it. CVS output, line up into a file, score game. All right, so let me score game. Let me click on that, see what that does. Oh, select printer. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not going to print right now, but those are options that, oh, it bounced me out of there. I don't like that. Okay, let me go back in. Ah, resume game. Welcome back to Replay Radio. Top of the first. No outs, bases empty. All right, so I'm going to lower that just a little bit here. Uh, let's see. Let me see if I can find, find the sound on here. Uh, anyway, let me input information. Okay, so I'm going to input information. So let's say, let me, uh, I can't move this thing out of here. All right, I can't move that out of there. But uh, let's say I'm going to uh, input first batter is Zimmerman. Right? First, oh, there's one out already. So I must have clicked on an out somehow. So Zimmerman, I guess, is the second batter, and he is going to, uh, let's see. Let's say he flies out, F to right field. That's two outs. Now, Worth is going to ground out to the shortstop, Tejada. So I'm going to go to 6-3 right here. And that's three up, three down. Now we go to the Mets. It's going to be Eric Young leading it off. You see Eric Young right there. And Eric Young is going to strike out. And now next is Juan Ligaris. You see his car. And Juan Ligaris is going to strike out. Let's click on that again. There it is. Okay, so there are two outs now for the Mets. And David Wright batted uh, 269 that season. Wow, he had a terrible season. Batted 269 with only eight home runs. What happened to his power? Really sucked from his soul for sure because he was hitting 20, 30 home runs, you know, 10 years before, and all of a sudden he got, he was zapped in 2014. So 2015, well, I think it's the injuries to start to take a toll on, on David Wright. Uh, so he's going to single. We're going to give him a single ground ball up the middle and threw for a base hit. So now David Wright is on it first. And uh, the next batter is going to ground out to the shortstop, Granderson. And that retires aside. And that brings us the uh, Nats again. So this is how easy. Now you can try this out and play it yourself. And uh, now whenever you want to look at a box score and see how things are going, you click on the box score. And there you go. You got a beautiful box score. Shows Strasburg won an inning, gave up a hit. Dylan G won an inning, gave up no hits. And it shows you the batting order. Shows you the uh, score, the uh, line score on top scoreboard and then it'll give you play by play if you click on it and so on so it's very very simple to use i really really like pc baseball so this is the first time i'm using the screen record system so this is primarily a practice session but i wanted to also make it productive and i wanted to show you a little bit of a replay baseball and how simple it is to use 
And let's say you want to go backwards, you just hit the erase button on top, and it brings Granderson back up. Let's make him ground out to second base instead. Pulls him up to second. Rendon, who's playing second, over to first, and that retires the side. So that's all I want to do. I want to do a quick 10 minute video on how to use Replay Baseball. Now, this is free. I can play 25% of the season free just downloading uh, from Replay Baseball, uh, the online store. So go there, check it out. This is really amazing. It's two clicks to set up the season when you do buy a season. I just bought the 1971 season. I'm going to try to read. I'm going to try to install it on this on this smaller uh, laptop that I'm using right now because it does give me sound. My larger laptops uh, or my larger desktops are not offering me sound at the moment. I have to connect some speakers. I don't know how I'm going to do that. But uh, they're a little bit older and they're not giving me the sound that I want. But these uh, newer uh, laptops are offering me the sound, and I really like the background uh, crowd noise that Replay offers. And uh, that's about it. This is CP Cards and Dice uh, for Tabletop Baseball TV. And saying uh, I'll talk to you soon.